Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. It is time for another quickie because there's always time to fit in inspiration. So I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for helping me take this podcast and fly through the ranks. And I'm so grateful because without you, this would not have happened. So that's you guys rating, reviewing, and sharing. So I hope to bring you um, as much love and uh, good things as you have brought me. So I just want to express my deepest gratitude to all of you for that. So today I want to chat with you about um, people's stories, maybe a misery addiction that we have, right? Maybe it's a story that we're telling so often that we're not even conscious that we're telling it. And what do I mean by that? I mean, maybe when someone asks us how we are, maybe we say, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so overwhelmed. Or, oh, let me tell you about what my sister just did. Or, oh my God, my mom or my mother-in-law or whatever that is, or my husband or my wife or my kids, whatnot. The story or my job, right? (laughs) My job, enough said uh, for many people. So, What is that story that you keep saying over and over that you are not even consciously aware of? And I think for a lot of people, it's I'm so busy or I'm so tired. So of course, if this is this story becomes like a mantra, right? Someone asks you how you are. I'm fine. So tired. Just so tired. Well, you say those words and you're feeling it, right? You're feeling it, you're hearing it, you're saying it, you're addicted to it. This is your story, you're sticking to it, right? We can make a country song about it. (laughs) So what would happen if we started changing that answer? Because we know that a lot of times we have to change the way that we are thinking and we have to force ourselves into saying something before we can necessarily feel it. And it's funny, I was talking to uh, somebody on a prior podcast, I was actually talking to Natalie Jill and she was saying how you have to understand what that would look like and what it would feel like and what the potential in your life could look like, right? To feel good or to have that life that you want. Because if you're not even allowing yourself to imagine it or to allow yourself to envision it and go there and feel those feelings when you visualize it and you play make-believe of what your new life would be, you're never going to get there and it's not going to seem worth it. So what if we started catching ourselves? Not what if, let's start catching ourselves. So when someone asks you, how are you? What if you answered as if you were the person you already wanted to be? Now, this doesn't take anything away from you. It's not like you need to be tired or people want to hear that you're tired or they want to know how hard you're working or that you're working yourself to the bone. There is no gold medal in that. Okay. There is no gold medal in making yourself so exhausted and taking care of everything yourself, whether it be the house, your job, all, you know, your kids, whatever that is, and taking everything on. There is no gold medal in that. So it's about letting it go seeing where you can maybe have somebody take part of the workload, start asking. And how about you start acting as if that person in that life that you want to be and start hearing yourself answer as if you're that person that you want to be. Now, is this going to solve everything? Not right away, but at least you can start seeing what that feels like. It makes you focus on maybe feeling more energetic or feeling good or helps you focus on the other person instead of focusing on, I'm tired. I hate my job. My life sucks whatever that answer is. So what if someone said, how are you? And you said, I'm awesome. How are you? And really truly meant it and started listening to them and started believing that you could create awesome in your life. Or what is that story that you keep on telling over and over that's holding you back? So for me, it was like, 
you know, I wanted to uh, help people out. I wanted to be more than just somebody who helped people with a physical transformation. I wanted to be speaking. I wanted to be out there. I wanted to be sharing, but I had anxiety. So I would always tell people, you know, anxiety just holds me back. I have these big dreams. This is what I want to do, but I have terrible anxiety. So every time something would come up about what I wanted to do or, or what I envisioned for my life, it was, you know, I'd tell them my dream, but I have anxiety, so it probably won't happen. Well, I kept telling this story over and over and over and over and over and talking about how I was struggling with anxiety. So what do you think I believed? I believed I was stuck struggling with anxiety. So I decided to start answering and start telling the story in a different way. It was, here's what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to overcome, and here's what I'm working through. So it was never, I have this and it's going to stop me. It started to become, here is what I'm working through, or this is what's happening now, but here is what I'm focusing on. Here's what I know will be true for me. Whether I did or not in that moment, I wanted to start speaking truth because my actions and my mindset and my feelings started following truth uh, that I was speaking, started following suit of what I was speaking. So if there is something that you want in your life. Start speaking it. Start speaking life into it. That is how all my ideas start is to maybe I don't feel them. Maybe I don't believe I could do them and subconsciously. Maybe it's like, okay, can I really do this? I'm saying it, but I feel like I'm lying. I feel like a fraud, but you have to speak life into it. You have to say it over and over and say it in your head and and envision it and feel it in order to start changing that story. So a lot of people who are really deep into the negative space will say, you know, oh, I can't do that. It's just not that easy, but that's where it starts. I'm going to be really real with you. If you don't ever start doing this, yeah, you're going to be stuck forever. So start speaking life into it. Start acting as if that person that you want to be, start answering as if that person you want to be is already speaking that truth into your life. And I promise you, your brain is going to start hearing it over and over and over and something magical is going to happen. One day you're going to notice a little shift and that's when you look up and you say, thank you. And that's when the miracle occurs. So it happens slowly, but you will notice it. So you guys, where's that story that you can take notice of and just answer a little bit different today. Start feeling a little bit different. So you guys, I have a bliss habit course that I launched that is uh, the early bird ends on Thursday and the um, entire thing closes on Sunday. If you guys want to really start taking this to a new level, if you really want to elevate where you're at, um, this is only open twice per year and it is something that I've poured my heart and soul into. It is a 12 week e-course and it is a lifetime membership. So you get this community for the rest of your life. So go check it out at theblisshabit.com. Um, if this is not for you, find something else that really helps you tap in every single day. But you guys, I think that you will love it. Go check it out there. Uh, it's one of my favorite, favorite things that we do all year long as far as programs go. So if you loved this podcast, please share it with your friends. It means so much to me. And I just want to thank you again for getting us to where we are. And until then, keep earning your happiness happy. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought, an honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number? For real. My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday. I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back 
And I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community and everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody going to be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to circle.so. Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes, and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14 day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's gonna streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. 
I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you wanna create on a course or webinar and bam, it just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're gonna customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers who use this and now their smart ai platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com that's k-a-j-a-b-i.com